tow truck driver's uh, brakes apparently don't work and he's not comfortable with lowering the boat down into the water here. Always the final hurdle, there's always something. Interesting night last night. We uh, got up uh, to Gimpy, a little issue with the petrol. Um, uh, we decided to march on to Rock and, uh, Rockhampton. Rocky last night um, got in about 5.10 or something, quarter past five, after a few stops. Um, a little bit of a later start this morning, eight o'clock. What's going on in here? Yeah. Feels like that. Are we on or were we? What are we doing? I don't know. Something. Ooh, what's happening there? <laughs> yeah, it's a weird. Oh, that bed looks a real mess. Oh. They're gonna want to throw that out. How'd you go? Any sleep? No. Nah. Oh yeah. I mean, I've got a couple of hours, but yeah. good. I felt like it was recharging. Way, way better. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, is there a pool we could duck in here and maybe wash yeah. off the demons? I think there was one. Yeah. Going to have a march. This place is all right. Did you sleep all right? Oh, I've got a couple. Um, it's enough to perk you. Yeah, get through the next bit. Yeah. Um, four hours to Mackay. Here we come. <sighs> it's a big one. Yeah, so it, it is a big one. Also, the trip to Mackay is quite long. And we're out of here. Okay, so we seem to have found the number. See you later, Rockhampton. We go on. Southside Holiday Village, you've been great. Thanks, Southside Holiday Village. Good three hours. So Lee is going through the grocery list mm. for 12 or oh, it could be a few weeks on the water. Yeah. What do you got? So I've just come across the butter butter situation. Right. Um, I wasn't sure but I've gone heavy. So I've gone some Devondale Extra Soft times two 750 grammers. So there's your kilo and a half flat out. Essentials butter, salted. 500 gram up times four. So wow. That's two kilos there. So we've gone about three and a half kegs of butter. Okay, so and that's gonna be on crayfish, your coral trout, your toast in the morning. Let's book in with a specialist when we get back. The cardiologist to, needs a quick call. Just to keep an eye on uh, the cholesterol levels. How are you feeling about that? I think it's it's gonna be yummy. The after effects, we can deal with that yeah. later. Righto, so we have pulled up for a little fuel stop. Now, the plan of attack is, last time it didn't go too well when we went to a fuel stop. Oh. So we're currently at Puroi Gimpy. But this time... No. Yes. For some reason, cars, let's double check, yep, she's, she's diesel alright. It can be the difference between a wonderful trip and a horrible trip. But we had a little combo, um, or we were starting to, about 
fish species. When you get bored as hell in the car, you're trying to get up there, you're thinking of the place you want to be and what you want to do. And now we're talking a bit about three species that you have in your list of best eaters and three species that are the best fighters. But can they be the same or do they have to be? They can cross over if they do. Yep. Is so, it fish that you've caught personally or would like to catch? Well, three is tough. Three that is tough. So eaters first or fighters first? Is this Australia wide? Okay, overall. Uh, three hours later. My number one, and it stands pretty true, for me is a mangrove jack. <whistles> number two would have to go probably coral trout. A Western Australian dewfish, I think, is number three. DHU fish. So three for fighting. The hardest fighting fish I think I've ever fought. For the same size would have to be a giant trevally, I think. Number two would probably be a yellowtail kingfish. Number three, oh, oh it's hard. Uh, uh, blue marlin's got to be in there too, but that's rawness and size. What do you think? Christ. Blue marlin. Yeah, um, on that one, aren't Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna throw right in your face. Oh. I'm gonna throw a tusky secondary, which is gonna catch you off guard. Okay. You ready? Sure. Gummy shark. Third one would be coral trout. Yeah. And not for the hardest fight, but my favourite fights. Yeah. Uh Spanish mackerel. Yeah. Barramundi. And my third one would be GT. It's nearly midnight now, but. <laughs> Got through that. Got it. Got that in. But Good yeah. So in the comments, uh, drop a like. Tell us what your favourite fish to fight and to eat is. Drop your three. Do a do a list of three. Three fighters, three eaters. If we can get a couple of species together on this trip, we might put a combo together and do a bit of a taste test. We're just happy to do it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so if YouTube pays us, yeah. we'll give you what you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> Okie doke, we're just waiting for the boat to show up. Um, Blair's just sorting out the jockey wheels. That are, hopefully, because the uh, the tow truck driver's uh, brakes apparently don't work and he's not comfortable with lowering the boat down into the water here. Always the final hurdle, there's always something, you know, but um, all good. We'll, uh, we'll see if the VMR, Volunteer Marine Rescue Mob, I've got a, uh, a tractor there, which I've seen them with, um, bring out a couple of couple of boats. Hopefully they're, they're bloody feeling generous and helping us out. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Perfect straight back. There she goes. Nice. Oh, the bungs. Yep. Put them in. All right, morning everyone. First day of uh, the reef mission. Unbelievable. We've had a couple of hours sleep last night, got the boat sorted out. Uh, she's looking fantastic, purring like a kitten. The weather, if you can see, is incredible. What do you think, Nick? Oh, bloody stoked. Beautiful morning. Good signs. Can't wait to get out there. Next up, the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. By the way, you have shit yourself. Yeah. Stinks like shit. Yeah. 